Welcome, everybody, to episode 111 of Disney with the Ducks. Tonight, you've got me, John Crawl, and I'm also joined by several other ducks. Uh, we've got Gene. Howdy. Lonnie G. Hello. Kevin. Hello there. And Jeff, a.k.a. Ken Jennings. Hey, everybody. All right. Well, uh, before we get into tonight's episode, we want to ask everybody to go out and give us a five-star review um, and maybe write some some good words about how awesome we are. Uh, that'll help other people find us. And then when you're done with that, maybe share the episode with your friends and go over to our Facebook group, Disney with the Ducks, and join in there uh, and, and join some of the fun conversation. So, all right. So everybody's going to go do that right now. Uh, we'll give you a minute. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thanks for doing that for us. We really appreciate it. Uh, all right. So tonight um, we're going to ask a question to get to know each other a little bit better. And so our listeners can get some insight into what's going on in these minds of ours. Um, tonight's question is, all right. So picture this, you're 11 years old, you're homesick mm -hmm. from school. Mm -hmm. Best time, right? Like there's mm -hmm. all these game shows on during the day. What mm -hmm. is your favorite one? What are you turning on? Kevin, let's go with you first. What are you, what are you watching? So daytime, right? Daytime yeah. game show? Okay. Yeah, daytime game show. It's, it's got to be Price is Right. I mean, that was always my go-to. Afternoon would be Wheel of Fortune, but, you know, Ooh. daytime, definitely Price is Right. Bob Barker, you know, watching him spin the wheel, go for the big bucks, and then see how much more people in California have to pay for groceries. <laughs> because <laughs> of how yeah. much more everything costs out there. I'm like, there's no way that can of soup costs $7, but I guess it does. <laughs> yeah, no, it, that, that Kevin, uh, that was going to be mine too. That's my favorite. It's still, I still love it when I'm home yeah, during the day good. and I got a half hour, an hour between meetings. And I can watch it. It's amazing. But yeah, looking at like, especially the showcase showdowns and I'm so far off, off $33,000. Okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't go over. Um, <laughs> all right, Lonnie, what was your favorite daytime TV show, game show? Well, I'm going to go with you and Kevin because my grandmother always watched The Price is Right. I mean, you know, look, many young male and female dogs lost their manhood and femalehood <laughs> at the end of that show due to Bob Barker. I mean, uh, so he was the advocate. He he mm -hmm. he said, "Snip them all, snip yeah. them all." So uh, you know, let God sort them out. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so there There's are many units uh, because of him. So uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with Prices Right as well. And, yeah. gonna, and for the record, I will go one cent under each time. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> the best thing, right? You can see where everybody went, and if everybody went way over, you could just be like a dollar. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I like the people that forget that they're not the last person, and they try and do that, and then somebody's like two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, it's amazing, man! The strategy. Um, yeah, and don't forget to spay or neuter your your pets. Help control the pet population. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's amazing that we all remember that mm -hmm. thirty years later. Um, all right, Gene, what do you got? What's your favorite daytime game show? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, game show. Um, my gosh, there were so many that came on during that time, and I was, you know, I was not prepared for that question. I, I thought I didn't realize it was game show. Um, but Price is Light has got Price is Right. Price is Right has got to be uh, up there. Uh, but also um, the the Hollywood Squares. Oh, I love that because it was just oh, funny. Yeah, the yeah. match game. The match game, just just so funny, you know, and. Um, Paul Lind and, 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 you know, those guys, that, there were a lot of them that, that went between, um, between those games, those celebrities and celebrities that I couldn't tell you what else they were ever in, but they were on those game shows, you know? Yeah. Well, or, I mean, Love Connection, right? Do you remember mm -hmm. that one? I was on during the day, I think, too, with Chuck Woolery. Oh, yeah. What a, Chuck what a show. Horribly Back in two and two. <laughs> <laughs> two and two, that's right. Yeah. yeah probably horribly inappropriate for a child, but I used to watch it all the time. Um, all right, Jeff, what do, you, what do you got? All right. I'm going to be the oddball to the group, obviously, because, you know, um, That's mine weird. was narrowed down to two. Um, I'm a big fan of let's make a deal. I like the stupid costumes that everybody wore and the stupid mm -hmm. stuff they had to try to find their pockets to win money at the end. And if you pick the wrong door, then you got like a goat versus <laughs> like the new car behind the other door. Um, or as a big fan of, um, no whammies. You got to have no whammies. 
you know? Yeah. So pressure lock, just no whammies, no whammies, big money. Mm -hmm. That was pretty odd. That was the most exciting. I mean, forget about the Kentucky Derby. The most exciting two minutes in in anything is when you have somebody like, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. And then the whammy comes out. Right. That was the best part. The little whammy. Right. You get the little Superman whammy comes across. Yeah. God, that was so good. Well, oh, game shows aren't the same anymore. They're all nah. too extreme. I don't like it. Um, but so that brings us to tonight's show topic. We are going to play Disney Jeopardy. So we're gonna. You guys are gonna have to keep track of your own scores because I am do not have the brain power. <laughs> uh, Where is Joey when we need him? We need Joey. Yeah, I do Mine's not have the brain cheat. power to do that and ask the questions. So I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen. Um, you know, because uh, that's difficult. Okay. All oh, right. It goes. So Disney Jeopardy. All right. Based on the uh, pre-show drawing that I did in my head, Lonnie, you are going to have the first, the first pick, and then whoever gets it right from there on out will, will pick. Can you guys see this? Good enough? Yeah. 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 I can see it now. I can see you now. Oh, popery. So I get the first pick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with attractions for 100, please. All right. Lonnie, going to attractions for 100. The original sponsor of the Carousel of Progress. Ooh. Anybody? I don't know this one. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Well. <clears throat> Depends. We're, we're not off to a great start. General it is the Electric. General Electric Company from 1964 that. to 1985. Man, I can't believe I missed. Okay, yeah. so now I will go with attractions for 200. All right, we're sticking with attractions. One of the two parks that has an Alice in Wonderland. Ding, 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 All right, ding, ding. Jeff, we're going with Epcot. Uh, that is incorrect. Yes, uh, Disneyland Paris. Yes, that is correct. And in uh, Disneyland, uh, Disneyland Tokyo. Well, you got you got. You one just had them. to do one. Right? Yeah, you just had to get one, and oh, you got okay. the Disneyland Paris. So I got the Shanghai one. Yep, you got two hundred dollars. So keep yes. track of your score there. Um, yes. No, that one is that's such a fun maze thing at Shanghai. It's mm. really cool. Uh, yeah. It's a little I'm gonna, sp- I'm scary. Kill this game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Gene. I am. We're we're all excited to see uh, see you win. Yeah. Right. I went to the one in Paris. It's really nice. I'm going to go with attractions for 300 The fastest ride at Walt Disney World. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, boy. Everybody's dinging in. I, <laughs> Kevin. Was Tron. Jeff, but that is incorrect. Ding, 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 All right. Ding, ding. Let me let me preface this uh, by saying if any of these are out of date, I made this <laughs> four years ago and have not updated it. So, there's a possibility that Tron could have been right. The best uh, proper rod. Okay, Th- that's very close, Gene. That one does get up there. <laughs> the central force and going around and around. Um, all right. Uh, did somebody else ring in? Because yes. I think I think Lonnie did so. disappeared. So yeah. uh, what is test track? That is correct. Yes, it is test track. All right, Lonnie, cleaning up. Is that all just right. have to anything to do with any loyalties to anybody as to GM? Yes, right. I would like to go oh, with attractions. Gee. There could be some. There could conflict be uh, Gene. Some yeah, some conflict of interest there. Uh, I'm just All wondering. Right. The storyline of this attraction sets the date as Halloween night. I know that one. October 31st, 1939. Uh, Jeff, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. That is correct. That is such a fun ride. It is. That might be the best themed ride ever. It, it is. I give it to Jeff. That's a good one. All right, so Jeff, uh, you got the four hundred dollars there, and you have you have control of the board. Where are we going? All right, Mayan, um, I would like to take attractions for five hundred. Sticking with attractions, let's close that category out. All right, the Magic Kingdom was originally this. I'm sorry, this Magic Kingdom attraction was originally built in 1917 for Belle Isle Park in Detroit. Ding 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 ding. ding. All right, Lonnie, what do you got? What is uh, a great uh, the uh, the thing with the little kids on it. The um, <laughs> what is that? It's, it's, I'm, I'm getting it. The one that you small float world? the little boat. Not small world. No. Small world. What is small world? It is not small world. Ding 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 ding. All right, Jeff. What do you got? The carousel. That is correct. I thought that was. This is my second guess. 
Yeah, the that's Prince Charming Regal said, Carousel. Alex yep. Uh, for Belle yeah. Isle, which if any of the lizards that listen to our show are running the half marathon or the or the, the full marathon or the international half, I think I can't remember which one, but one of them goes around Belle Isle um, in the middle of the Detroit River between the U.S. and Canada. So you could get to see where this thing originated. Hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty it is cool. cool. Yeah, it's a pretty neat little uh, pretty cool thing. All right, so we closed out attractions. Um, Jeff, you got that one. So where are we going? Um, let's go with resorts for four hundred. Ooh, four hundred. Yeah. With two thousand eight hundred and eighty rooms, this resort has the most rooms. Ding ding on. ding ding ding. Gene, what is All Star Sports? That is that is not correct. <laughs> I, know it's not. I know it's not. I just ding, wanted to ding, say ding. something. All right, Jeff, we'll go with Pop Century, Alex. That is correct. Pop Century has the most oh, rooms most. on Disney property at 2,880. All right. So let's see. That was four. Know. That was resorts. Okay. Jeff, you have control of the board still. Let's go. We're in the world for 500. 500. Okay. You ready? Where in the world? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey. I know, I know it. That's inside Border Ridge. It is. Do it's you know the what Carol the room is called? The Carowinds room, correct? Uh, it's close. Pacific Carolwood room. Oh, you don't get it. Car <laughs> or Carolwood Pacific. So close. Yep, you're so close. <laughs> are, we, are we counting that? Oh, let's no, see we're the not. Judges. Go to the judges. Wow. No. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's a negative. We're not well, specific still enough. control the board. Yeah, if that would have been like being like, yeah, yeah, you're in the state of Florida. No, you, 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 cannot, you, you, you said you said that you didn't say how specific. I give you the resort. Oh, Mister. You said uh, yes. You, you said. Hey, hey, hey! The sixth Carl, school from the left of the like cantina. That. Take point, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> the judges, the judges are harsh, and they're not taking your stuff tonight. Uh, shoot, what? Which one was that? Five. Was somewhere in the world. Somewhere in the world for four hundred. I think it was five. Wasn't I think it? it was five. No, 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 no! Stop looking! Stop looking! No, no! This is going downhill quick. So was it four hundred? Five hundred. Five hundred. It was. Yeah. Well. I'd like to answer 400 now, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Whose turn? I don't even know whose turn it is. I screwed that up. <laughs> let, let's, let's, let, uh, let's let Jeff still do it. <laughs> well, let's see that $400 clue, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Where in the world? Ding, 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 ding. Lonnie, what do you got? Yeah, that is right outside of Beach Club. That's well, correct. You're not giving me no. It's right outside the beach. It's it's in the pool there of the beach club, but it's across what's, the street. What's the name you of the pool? Walk up and go across. It has a name. Ooh. It does. Jeff, it's the Jeff's We're going to call it, this it question. It says Jeff's where revenge. in the world. It didn't say what in the world. There's a difference. Mine was the same thing. Where? Uh, no, 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 it wasn't, sir. No, it wasn't. I'm telling well, you. Lonnie got much, much more specific in his description. Exactly. I said it was right across the street. <laughs> From Beach Club that you have to go in there. So I'm on it. We're gonna get to it. I had a, a major um you know blackout from running the marathon and seeing that thing going down. <laughs> it was making doing all kinds of crazy stuff at mile what twenty by then? Close to it. I don't I don't think we run Wait. past that at mile twenty. Okay, but then you I'm really saying, I was saying things. You really were out there. <laughs> Wait, right. I was really out. You, you when, we're, right. when we're coming up uh the I last we saw it at the boardwalk. We mile or two. Yeah, boardwalk. you can see it across yeah. the lake. Yeah. Yeah. I mean if you like I saw Gene's something. favorite that's Gene's favorite been a lake at ship. Disney. Binoculars is right. <laughs> Crescent Lake. Look, I like the smell of potpourri. Let's go potpourri for five hundred. Oh, going big. <laughs> I like it. The railroad Walt built in his backyard of his home in Los Angeles, California. What what about it? What is it? What the what's the railroad called that he built? Ding ding ding. Jeff? How about the Carrollwood Pacific? That is correct. <laughs> Featured the Lily Bell, a one-eighth scale live steam locomotive named after his wife Lillian. And you guys ever seen the pictures of it? It's really cool with him like riding on right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. looks like a giant on a train. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so that was Potpourri for 500. All right, so did Jeff get that one? I did. Mm -hmm. He sure did. Oh, 
Let's All right. Movies for three. Is there a daily doubles on here somewhere? No. Uh, Come on. I, it took me. It was hard enough for me to create this with the links and everything in general. It is pretty impressive, John. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. It translates very perfectly to people listening on a podcast. Is the how yes. wonderful. <laughs> hey man, you know this is we're gonna push viewers to our YouTube channel. There you go. That'll make us. That'll make us YouTube stars. Forward mm-hmm. thinking. That's what I like about you, Carl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's go movies for two hundred. Movies for 200. All right. So where Rapunzel and Flynn sing about their dreams with the ruffians. Where's the location? Oh, ding, ding, ding. All right, Kevin. The ugly duckling. Yes. Yeah. Ugly duckling. <laughs> and speaking of uh, Disney Shanghai, like we mentioned earlier with the Alice thing, they have an ugly duckling restaurant there. That's really cool. Um, it's like a quick service one. you walk in, but you look at the walls and it's got like the hatchets stuck in them and stuff. It's really neat. All right, so movies for 200. Okay. All right. Yeah. Kevin, where are you going? Let's do theme parks for 100. The smallest theme park in Disney World. Ding, 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 ding. ding. All right, Jeff. Sorry, Lenny. Let's go with Hollywood Studios. That is not correct. Really? Yes. Really. Lonnie, okay. did you have a guess? Hey, I, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go with Animal Kingdom. No, yeah, I think Animal Kingdom might be the it's the biggest. Yeah, is it? But I'm just I'm just going around because I'm like, you know, I <laughs> all right. So, Gene, Gene or Kevin, there's only two left. Epcot, <laughs> not correct. All right, Kevin, do you want to take a guess? Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yes, it's only 107 acres. Wow. But now, did you guys hear they're going to add didn't on? Say by land area. That's true. I, I was going by capacity. About, by by uh, animals mm-hmm. per, per capita. <laughs> And, well, um, no, it is the Magic Kingdom at 107 acres, but they're expanding it. I think, what they say? It's going to be the size of, like, um, Galaxy's Edge or something that they're expanding? I mean, we, huh. we hasn't been announced yet, so I think that's still Blue Sky. What, what is Blue Sky, John? <laughs> Blue Sky. Blue Sky, Blue Sky well, Concepts? No clouds. Um, it's all strategic. A lot of strategic. strategery. <laughs> <laughs> what one was that? That was uh, Theme Park 100? for 100. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, who finally got it? Was it Kevin? I got it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do resorts for a hundred. Okay, we're going to resorts for one hundred. This river flows by the Porter Orleans Riverside. Ding, 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 All right, ding. Lonnie, what do you got? What is the Sasagula River? Yes, my one of my all time favorite rivers. As it turns out, I knew that because you can get beignets there, you can run there, and you can get to Disney Springs if you take the boat. You sure can. Cool. You know what? We're going to keep it up with resorts for 200, please. Ooh, all right. The original DVC resort. Ding, 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 yeah. ding. That's Old Key West, sir. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. All right. So that's resorts for two. All right, Jeff, you control the board. Where are we going? Let's go to Pot Pori for 400. <laughs> Pot Pori. <laughs> Pot Pori. <laughs> Pot Pori. The planet you visit in Star Wars Galaxy. I think Kevin got that one. I, I heard Not Gene. Too. I heard Gene. <laughs> Okay, Gene. Gene? <laughs> Batu. Batu. Okay, you are correct. Gene on the board again with another 400. Again? Um, again. I don't know. Mean, again? That was oh, Pot Pori. Pot for 400. Oh. Yeah. All right, Gene, where are you, where are you going? Did you, just cl- oh, that, that, did you just click Potpourri for 400? Or yes. Is that, yeah, that's that was what you it. got. Yeah. You got 400. Right. Oh, okay. So Potpourri for 300. All right, sticking with Potpourri. Yeah, I love the Magic smell. Bands made their Ooh. debut in ding, this ding, 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 ding. Yes, Gene. 1998. It was not in the 1900s. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Kevin. 2008. No. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. Yes, Jeff. We're going with 2015. Ooh, oh, no. This. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Lonnie? I'm going to go with 2017. It's no. 14. 2013. Yeah. <laughs> 2013. Potpourri for 300. That. Nobody got that one. So we're back. Gene, where do you want to go? Potpourri for 200. All right. Let's stick with Potpourri. Oops. And the answer is, uh, well, my link doesn't work. That's that's what the answer is. <laughs> I broke it. Click, <laughs> click and control to follow the link. Okay. Well, this is embarrassing. 
I swear this never happens, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> what, what's happening? Then? Come on, Trebek. All right, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Should should we should, should I choose something else? Wait just a yeah, minute. Yeah, you might want to choose something else. How about a hundred? No, none of them are working. You guys killed my legs. Hold on. All right. I think we missed a uh, good opportunity on this game, John, to have a category called things Jane Gene knows, and every answer was Crescent Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha, bunch of nerds. <laughs> All right. This on property Sunday boasts 28 ingredients, including a whole can of All right. Uh Lonnie, I think. What is the at least you were sink? the loudest? Yeah, that's correct. Kitchen yeah. The kitchen sink. Yes. Uh I'm gonna go with uh broken link movies for 300. <laughs> that that is the actual answer. So what? Hold up, hold up, because we gotta we gotta get back to here. All right, oh, you're in certain commentary. Oh, there it goes too. Ding 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 ding. I have no idea. I don't. I I can't pay attention enough. Who got that first? Kevin. Kevin. All right. Six two six. Yes. Good job, Kevin. Stitch is the best. He is. I just got my Stitch Magic Band uh, Plus in the mail the other day. Nice. Yeah. Which one was that? Does anybody remember? Uh, I think it was 300 <laughs> okay. movies. All right. Where to, Kevin? Uh, let's do movies for 400. Iron Man's nickname for Thor. Gene. Gene got point, it. Point break. Yes. You got it. Good job, buddy. That was one of the hardest questions on here. Good job. No, no. Gene was just all over the, the, the least Disney nerd one, you know? Uh, that was 400 movies. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Gene, after that, I got, Star I got a Star Wars one and an Avengers one. I mean, what yeah. else? I mean, you know, there's nothing. I don't know anything else. <laughs> well, you may not know any other ones, but you need to pick one. Oh, oh yeah, it's my turn. Sorry. Hey, how about movies for? Is this really, do I really want to stay there? Five hundred. It's gonna be hard. Five hundred. We're going bigger, or we're yeah, going home. Uh, in Disney's Into the Woods, this is one of the four items the baker and his wife must. Ding ding obtain. ding! All right, go for it, Gene. I'm just gonna go with. I have no idea. I have Newt. <laughs> no. I knew it wasn't right, but anybody else? else? That's what witches always want. No idea. This is a five hundred dollar level question, guys. I mean, we're not gonna be asking what you know Cinderella's dress was, what color it was, or anything, you know, or what her slipper was made of. Velvet. Um, okay, so this one: white cow, red cape, yellow strand of hair, and a golden slipper. Mm. I've only seen that movie once. It was good though. I like all the singing. All right, Gene. Since nobody got that one, you're you're still up. Um, how about um, resorts for no? Let's go for theme parks for 200. The audio animatronic singer organist who performs oh, at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Jeff. His name is Sunny Eclipse. Yes, correct. Sunny yes, Eclipse. Sunny. Oh, man. I mean, when you're talking about like dinner time um, entertainment, you can't get much better than Sunny Eclipse. Right? I mean, you can't. And his dad jokes are on point. Yeah, well, solid. So it's, I mean, it's it's worth it. Yep. Get a burger and fries and just lit, take in the show. All right, where are we going, Jeff? We're doing resorts for 500, Alex. Resorts for 500. John Lennon signed the ding, papers. Ding, 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 yes, ding, ding. Lonnie. What is the Polynesian? Wait. Yes, so for our mm -hmm. listeners who didn't get to hear the whole question, it was John Lennon mm -hmm. signed the papers to officially break the Beatles, break up the Beatles at this Disney resort. And it was the Polynesian. So, yeah. What's that? Polly's got a dark side. That was five for, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go with theme parks for 500. Magic Kingdom land that has no bathrooms. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Jeff? That is Liberty Square. That is correct. Because they wanted to stay true to um, the time period. No indoor plumbing. <laughs> yeah. So you so, can pee in the bushes? Yeah. You got to go out in the street. In the they put you in the gallows. Did you know the one bathroom that they think is considered there inside Liberty Tree Tavern is on the backside of the building, so it's actually not actually technically inside. 
Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I forgot there was one. Well, actually, you know what? I've never been in Liberty Tree Tavern. Yeah. Hmm. It's inside the building, but they said it's outside the land. Wow. Hmm. That's a technicality that they probably went back in afterwards and rezoned. Right. No. Too many people in the bushes. So to Gerrymandering. Say yeah. <laughs> All right. Where to? All right. We'll go to theme parks for four. Okay. One of two international pavilions that have been added since Epcot. Ding, 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 ding. Jeff. South America. <laughs> <laughs> if you get near DeLorean and go in the future, that will be one of the countries because they are. It's a wonderful country, that South America. Unfortunately, that's not one of the two that's been added. Sorry. Anybody? It's two of them. Uh, Morocco and France. You got one, so that's all you Norway. needed. Huh. Norway, yes. yeah, Morocco yes. and Norway. Which I, I mean, Morocco Morocco's not that. I mean, Epcot opened in '82, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So it's only two years later. That's not. Yeah, yeah, that's not too long. And those are two of the cooler ones because I mean yeah. I like Norway because of the frozen ride and that little cafe they have. Plus, I mean to be honest, Norway's bathrooms are my favorite in all of possibly all of Disney, but definitely all in Epcot. Mm. I love them. Like, they're kind of tucked back. Nobody really knows about them. Super clean. Mm -hmm. And I ran into a friend there one time, just completely randomly. Guy from up here. Yeah. He was coming out. I was going in. One of Kara's uh, friend's dads. It's like, hey, Tom. Good to see you. Of all the places to run into somebody. Anyway, I don't know what that has to do. <laughs> well, you guys are traveling internationally. Something. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what that was. That was 400. I think that's right. Theme okay. parks for 400. All right. So I am going to go theme parks for 300. Okay. Let's do it. This, the pavilion in Epcot where you could hear the voice of Eugene Levy of Schitt's Creek fame and American Buy. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, Jeff. He is in the Canadian pavilion, Alex. That's correct. That's true. Far and wide. Hmm. The Canadian film. Nice. <clears throat> All right. So we've closed out now theme parks. Let's go back to Potpourri for 100. Ooh, the last of the potpourri category. This legendary drink is traditionally served <laughs> in pineapple. <laughs> All right, we're going to give Lonnie a chance to answer, but let me read the question. Real quick. This legendary drink is traditionally served in a pineapple at the Tambu Lounge at the Polynesian Resort. Lonnie, what do you got? I'm going to go with Lapu Lapu. Of course, the greatest drink humankind has ever developed. Man. What a time to be alive when you can get a Lapu Lapu at the Tambu Lounge. All right, Lonnie, where do you want to go? Where in the world for 300? Get ready. It's a picture. With... Ding, 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 ding. Is John frozen? All right, Lonnie. That, that is in the lobby of the Grand Floridian doing Christmas. Yep. That's correct. It's a picture house. of the, gin, yeah, the gingerbread house. And have you guys been there at Christmas? Yes. It's amazing. This thing is a really full cool. size structure. And you can see people beside it just to see the scale. Yeah. Like, walk into it. I lick it. You can buy the cookies and or the the gingerbread. I, I, I lick the actual house. I was going to ask yeah. if you if what would happen if you ate it, but I guess less. I nibbled on that roof too. I did it all. Yeah, I I walked up and just ate a gumdrop off of it. Mm -hmm. Nobody even noticed. It's weird. All right. Uh, so that was for 300. Okay. So let's get rid of that guy. All right. Where are we going next, Lonnie? Where in the world for 200? Okay. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, All right, Lonnie. What do you got? Living with the land. Is it living with the land? Because I had it as a lounge. It's the DVC lounge in Epcot. Do they have the same? It's they don't look up thickness. through the same thing do they no, no. but I, I got confused. okay no. so i screwed that up by going to the answer because i i was pretty sure i knew what it was but so it's the dvc lounge because it's got all the yep. you know, the triangular and crisscrossing bars it's above journey into imagination yeah which is amazing because you can go up there get a nice little snack and then go down and ride the figment ride yep you can't you can't beat that as a half hour you know um all right what's next lonnie oh i didn't get it right oh jeff Let's go 300 for resorts. Okay. Resorts for 300. Home to the Bellevue Lounge. Ding, ding, ding. All right, Jeff. 
The boardwalk. Yes. That's such a it's such a fun lounge. It is. It's a it's nice. I like the boardwalk. It's a good place. All right. So that was resort. We've closed out the resorts category. We've got two questions or two answers left. Which one? Let's do you want? go. Where in the world? Okay. Get ready. <sighs> ding 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 ding. All right, Kevin. What do you got? It's in uh, Galaxy's Edge. No. Ding ding ding. Lonnie. That is at uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. No. I thought the, I thought that was blue and green milk. <laughs> oh no! Ding ding ding! Right. It's inside right. the poly. Yes, that's correct. It is the Polynesian. When you're standing, like here's Ohana back over here. Here's Kona. It's all those colored balls they have hanging down. Everybody loves a good colored ball, you know. I mean, blue Apparently. balls, green balls. Apparently. Uh, all right. So that was where in the world. All right, last question. Movies for 100. In Frozen 2, what game is being played by Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven when Elsa is distracted by a song only she can hear? So at the beginning when they're around the fireplace. Nobody, huh? Wow. All right. Well, it was charades. They were playing charades. Hmm. Yeah. And that, okay. and that is it. Um, okay. Well, with that, who, what, what was your scores? Let's go with Gene. What did you have? 500. Okay. Lonnie? Seriously going to laugh? Why are you so angry? After taxes, Gene, that's going to be like 67 bucks. So uh, good job. I don't know that I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I had a 2,500. Uh, wow. Okay. 2,500. Kevin? I think I had 600. 600? Okay, so not last place. That's a plus. <laughs> Jeff? At 2,501, Alex. 2,501. <laughs> Did you guys tie? No, I had 2,501. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't keep track. Was it... I, I can't do math that fast. You're an accountant. You should be able to do basic math. <laughs> Tax season ends tomorrow. You're supposed to <laughs> write it down like this, man. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that was a good game. I had fun with it. Um, Hopefully you guys had fun. Hopefully our listeners had fun sure. playing along and were able to guess some of the some of the uh, questions, right? Because and you guys didn't really, we didn't start everything with what is, so we could have Gosh. said all of your answers were wrong. Mm -hmm. In that case, I had zero out. Wow. wow, I had zero. Wow. Okay. All right. So with that, we will go into our favorite part of the show, which is quacking up with the ducks. Jeff, you want to go first? I will. Um, what kind of bagel can travel? A plain bagel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> Kevin, what do, you, what do you got? Well, I mean, it, it's, I, I may have used this one before, but I can't resist it this time of year. You know, it's just now turned to spring. I, I was so excited about the warm weather. You know, it's spring that I wet my plants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Lonnie, what do you got? Yeah, what does Rockin' Robin do when she's bored? I don't know what. She tweets. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. All right, Gene, you got anything fun going on? Listen, man, I don't mean to bring y'all down, but I just, I want to take this time. Y'all, you're my friends. Our listeners are my friends. I want to just make a confession, man. You know, um, my wife and I, we've, we've had some problems and, um, I just, I have to admit, I've been, I've been beating her up every morning. I mean, I get up at six, she gets up at six 30 every single morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, well, it was good. It was good knowing you guys. Uh, okay. Um, You're going to need a strong disclaimer on this one. <laughs> oh, <for sure. laughs> no, but no animals or people were harmed. In I the mean, who, <laughs> th those of you that know my wife, who do you think would win? Fight. I mean, really? Really? You, you I don't know, know your wife, no but I'm guessing she I would win. Know. I got no chance. I got no chance. <laughs> she would. Oh, man. I, I find all the answers shown on Jeopardy to be highly questionable. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh boy. All right. Well, thanks everybody for sticking with us through this. Um, we tried to have a fun game night and I think it, you know, we had fun. Hopefully you guys had fun listening to it. Um, go and give us a review, please at your podcatcher of choice. And after you're done, come over to our Disney with the ducks group and let us know how badly you beat Jeff and jeopardy. Um, if you were playing along as, as we, as we went there. So, um, with that, I'll say Quaharini. Thanks everybody. Take us home, Gene. Congratulations on surviving the magical mayhem of our Disney Jeopardy style game. Before you bid adieu to this fantastical journey, a word of caution. Beware of post-game giggles as they may lead to uncontrollable laughter and belly aches from excessive merriment. Prolonged exposure to Disney trivia may cause spontaneous bursts of song accompanied by questionable dance moves. Extended periods of nostalgia may result in impromptu Disney movie marathons and excessive cuddling with plush Disney characters. Proceed with caution as you exit this whimsical wonderland. Remember, laughter is the best medicine, and too much Disney magic can be addictively delightful. Nice. Very good. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Let's see everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you, ChatGPT. And the day is mine. It's a big hat. It's a funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> With men reach from cards. Don't be so smart you didn't have those damn cards in front of your Trebek. <laughs> yeah.